Two decades later, and Gadoni Wamoshomba still practices her trade with great enthusiasm. The love for the trade oozes with every link, and her roots stem from way back. When I was four years, I was the lead Sunday school girl. Every wedding, I was the composer, I was the dancer, I was the soloist, I was everything. I could keep, I could keep everybody at home busy, listening to me. As such, Wamoshomba decided to capitalize on her talent. She pursued a degree in education and whilst at the University of Nairobi, she came face to face with what would inform the rest of her life. I was also one of the leaders, of student leaders, and um, one of the lecturers identified my talent and asked me whether I can be able to mobilize other students to package some local educational uh, programs for radio consumption and for village what we used to call radio listening groups. And that's how I ended up being a media person because the first thing I did was to be introduced into the media. Just like any other journalist, the journey has been sweet and sour. Her unforgettable encounter was an altercation with a veteran politician who did not agree with her sentiments on air. He literally came to the studio to fight me. He actually drew his gun towards me. It was not nice, but I never exposed my fear to him. So I faced him on and I said, you know what, if you shoot me, I, I think you'll be the first uh, political leader to accost a female journalist because of talking the truth. So go ahead and shoot me. And uh, he, he somehow was, uh, you know, calmed by my reaction. But I can tell you, honestly, I was so scared. I was very scared. 20 years is a long time to see an industry transform and find its footing in the society. According to this seasoned journalist, the media has done well in strongly defining its place as the fourth estate. However, it has fallen short in some areas. I feel sometimes as journalists, we are so biased to the commercial world. And sometimes somebody will tell you about a lost child. But because your show is sponsored by so-and-so and you're not allowed to talk about that lost child, you will not give that community the service they deserve. Yet the community have made us opinion leaders, agenda setters and gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks to the experience and exposure acquired along her illustrious career, Wamushombe is also a media owner. Her forte meeting the needs of farmers. Asante, am I so late today? But that's not all. Something else tugs at the heart of this media personality. The plight of intersexuals, people born with both female and male genitalia. In Kenya, their plight goes greatly unnoticed due to cultural beliefs and ignorance. I'm meant to understand these are genetics issues that has got to do nothing to do with you or me. It's nature. And if it's nature, let it take its course. So I went on radio and I said I would want to celebrate my 20 years in the media by blessing this type of children. So if you have a child or you know of a child with this kind of a malformation and you'd want to probably maybe check for corrective surgery, you can get in touch with me. And within two weeks, I have registered 132 children. So, with a basket full of achievements, is retirement anywhere in the horizon for this media enthusiast? I always say, once a soldier, ever a soldier, once a microphone girl, ever a microphone girl. <laughs> for Women in Power, my name is Gladys Kashanja.